So now let me close all the files and let's implement the state management for the email password recovery for the login page. First, I need access to the store, so let's get it on the constructor. Now our tests for the login page are failing because the tests don't have access to the store. So let's add it to the imports. I'll need the store module, I'll need the loading reducer, and I'll also need the login reducer. After I save this, now our tests will pass. So let's create a function called forgot email password that will be called when the user clicks on the forgot email password button. And now let's create a test for that forgot email password functionality. It should recover email password on forgot email password. Let's start by expecting that true is false. As we have a failing test, let's start. In this test, I'll simulate the whole flow, meaning that I'll simulate that the login page is started, the user set a valid email on the input field, and the user clicked on the recover email password button. Then I will expect that the property is recovering password of the login state is equal to true. With this, the page will know that the user is trying to recover the password and then the page will be able to respond to it. So let's code this test. First, I have to start the page. That's pretty easy. I just need to tell the fixture to detect the changes. Now I have to simulate the user input a valid email. Remember that I have access to the component and that the component has a form. I can then get the email and set as the value a valid email. Now for the click on the button, I need access to the elements of the page. So I'll create a new property to the test called page. Before each test, this page will receive from the fixture debug element, the native element. The page has a function called query selector, which will search in the page for some CSS-like selector. So let's just query for the selector with the ID equal to recover password button, and then I can click on it. And finally, I have to ask the store if the is recovering password property is set to true. To do this, I first need access to the store in my test. So let's create a new property for the test, which is the store. And before each test, I will initialize that store using testbed. Now on the store, I can select the login state and subscribe to it, meaning that now I am observing the login state. With that login state, I can expect that on the login state, the is recovering password property is equal to true. After I save this, our test will keep failing. The first thing that's making it fail is that we didn't define this ID on our login page. So let's do this. I'll copy the recover password button string, go to the login page and define here the ID of my forgot email password button. I'll save it again and now our test will keep failing, but because we didn't do anything to change the state of the store. On the forgot email password function of our page, let's tell the store to dispatch the recover password action. After I save this, our test will pass. So let's take a look at the app itself and the state. I'll come to the Redux tab and here we can see that our store has the initial state. I'll input an email at the email field and I'll click on the forgot email password button. After this, we see that now the is recovering password property of the login state is equal to true. Cool, but we are actually not doing anything with that information by now. What we will do now is to make the login page observe the login state. When the is recovering password property is equal to true, we'll show the loading component. When it becomes false, we'll hide the loading component. So let's go back to the code. Let's create a new test for this scenario. It should show the loading when is recovering password. To achieve this, we need a few things. First, we need to start the page. Then we need to change the is recovering password to true. And then we need to verify if on the loading state, the show property is equal to true. So let's start by telling the fixture to detect the changes. To change the is recovering password to true, I simply need to tell the store to dispatch the recover password action. 
And now I just need to go to the store, select the loading state and subscribe to it. Now I have access to the loading state and I can expect that on the loading state, the show property is equal to true. After I save this, our test will fail. It fails because I'm not informing anywhere that the loading should be shown when the user is trying to recover the password. So let's do this. Remember that the login page has to observe the login state in order to know what to do. So when the page is initialized, I'll get the store and select the login state. Then I'll subscribe to it and I'll get access to the login state. Now what I can do is just check if the login state dot is recovering password property is equal to true. If it is, then I'll get the store and dispatch an action to show the loading component. After I save this, our test will pass. So let's go to the app and see what's happening on the Redux so you can understand it better. First, we are in the initial state, so nothing is happening. I will input a valid email and when I click on the forgot email password button, I will call the recover password action. This will set the is recovering password to true and will make the subscription code run again. And by having the is recovering password as true, the show action is called and now we are showing the loading component. But the loading is never disappearing. What we need to do now is to create a service that will be responsible for calling some backend or something like this and it will actually recover the password. If everything was fine, then we hide the loading component and show a success message. If it had an error, then we should hide the loading component and show an error message. Let's do the first one then. I'll create a new test that it should hide the loading component and show a success message when has recovered the password. I will start with a failing test. What I need to do here is to start the page, then set the login state as recovering password. Then I'll inform that the login state has recovered the password correctly and I'll verify that on the loading state, the show property is false and that a success message was shown. First, I'll start the page. Now I'll tell the store to dispatch the recover password action. Now I'll tell the store to dispatch the recover password success action. So I'm telling that the new state of the login page is the state where the password recovery worked. Now I have to get the store and select the loading state. I'll subscribe to it to get access to the loading state and I'll expect that on the loading state, the show property is false. And finally, I'll verify if a success message was shown. To do that, I will use the toast component of the Ionic framework. So I need to create a new property for the test called toast controller of the type toast controller. I will initialize before each test this property using the test bed. The toast controller has a function called create. What I need to do is to spy on the toast controller function create and then I will expect that the toast controller with the create function was called once. When I save it, the test will fail. And it fails because I'm actually not doing anything that this test is expecting me to do. So let's make it pass. What I need to do is to come to the subscription of the login state and add another condition here. I'll check if the login state dot is recovered password is true. In case it's true, then I'll need to hide the loading component. To do this, I just need to tell the store to dispatch the hide action. Now I need to show the success message, so I need access to the toast controller. I get access to it from the constructor. Now I can create a constant called toaster and then I will await that the toast controller will create a toaster. I'll put it to be positioned at the bottom of the page. I'll set the message of the toaster as recovery email sent and I'll put its color as primary. I needed to put that await there because the create function is asynchronous. So I also need to tell that my subscription is asynchronous. And finally, I'll tell the toaster to present the message. After I save this, our test will pass. But if we go to the actual web, set a valid email and click on the forgot email password button, 
we see that the loading component still never disappears. That happens obviously because we are never calling the recover password success action to make it disappear. What should happen is that we should call a service, that service would call the backend, the backend would return a success response and we would then call the recover password success action. So let's do this, but first let's do some refactor here because one function is getting too long. So I'll create two new functions, one for each state. And I'll just copy and paste the code of each state. This function has to be asynchronous. I can remove this asynchronous call here. And now I'll just call the two functions. Now yeah, much better. All right, so now let's create a service that will be responsible in the future for calling the backend. To do that, I create a new command line and I'll tell Ionic to generate a service on the services slash alf folder with the name alf. We can see that two new files were created, which is our service and the test for it. So let's go to our service and make a fake call to a fake backend. I'll create a function called recover email password, which receives an email as a string. This function returns an observable without any value. As this is a fake service for now, I mean, in the future we'll create a real one calling the backend, don't worry. I will return a new observable and I will set a timeout of three seconds for it to respond. Inside of the timeout, I will create a condition. If the email is equal to error at email.com, then I'll tell the observer to return an error object with the message equal to email not found. If not, then I'll just tell the observer to send the answer and complete its job. By doing this, we can test both scenarios. So let's go back to the logging page and inform that now we need to use that auth service that I just created. Then what I need to do is when the user is trying to recover the password, I'll call the service to recover the password and pass to it the email value. Now I'll subscribe to that service and when it answers successfully, I'll tell the store to dispatch the recover password success action. After I save this, our tests keep passing. Now let's go to the actual app and see what's happening on the Redux. First, we are in the initial state, so nothing is happening. I will input a valid email and when I click on the forgot email password button, I will call the recover password action. This will make the subscription run again and as the is recovering password is true, we show the loading component and call the fake service. Three seconds later, it responds with success and we dispatch the recover password success action. The state changes again, the subscription runs again and now as the is recovered password is true, we hide the loading component and show the success message. Now let's do the error case and show the error message. Let's create a new test that it should hide the loading component and show an error message when there is an error on the recover password. First, let's make this test fail. What I need to do here is to start the page, then try to recover the password, then change the state to inform that it failed, then expect that the loading component is not showing and an error message was shown. So I will start the page. Now I will recover the password. The recovery password failed. Now I'll just copy this part from the last test as they are basically the same. When I save it, our test will fail. So let's change our code to make it pass. Here on the login page, I need a new function for the case when there is an error on the password recovery. I'll just check if there is an error on the login state. If the error is present, then I'll tell the store to hide the loading component and I'll tell the toaster to show a message. Let me just copy the instruction from here below and paste it. Now I need to set this function as asynchronous to change the color from primary to danger and to actually use the error message from the login state. After I save this, our test will pass. Oops, sorry, I forgot to actually call this function here. After I save this, our test will pass. Now let's go to the actual app. 
I will put the error email and click on the forgot email password button. The loading component shows up, but it never disappears. This happens because we are actually not doing anything when there is an error on the auth service. So let's do it. The subscription also can have an error structure that we declare after the success instruction. So I'll just tell the store to dispatch the recover password fail action with the error returned by the service. After I save this, our tests keep passing. Now let's go back to the actual app and see what's happening on the Redux. First, we are in the initial state, so nothing is happening. I will input the error email and when I click on the forgot email password button, I'll call the recover password action. This will make the subscription run and as the is recovering password is true, we show the loading component and call the fake service. Three seconds later, it responds with an error and we dispatch the recover password fail action with the error. The state changes, the subscription runs again, and now, as the error is not now, we hide the loading component and show the error message. And it's done. We just did the password recovery state management on the login screen. Actually, only one detail is missing. The subscription to the store keeps alive forever and this code will run every time the login state changes. But after the user leaves the login page, we don't actually need the login screen to keep an eye on the login state anymore. So we have to unsubscribe that subscription when the page is destroyed. To do this, I'll inform that the login page implements the own destroy interface from Ionic. Now I need to declare a ng on destroy function which will be executed when we destroy this page. Now I need to create a new property to our page which is the login state subscription of the type subscription. Now let's make this property receive the response from our subscription. And finally I can just come to the destroy function and verify if the subscription exists. If it does, then I can just unsubscribe from it. And that's it. Now let's do the state management for the actual logging functionality of the logging page.